Hello and welcome back to my cams and farm let's play. It's harvest time. We've beat up a bit earlier. We got the grass cut in our grass fields. Um, we're hooked up to the baler and the windrow. We can get them done when we get a worker set off in here. Um, I've got the case ready to get our wheat transported down to the flour mill. And that's about all I have to inform you of before we get going. We'll start her up. Get it opened up. Did get the uh, productions kind of up to date. Apart from the greenhouse, we need to fill. And the animals have taken care of themselves, really. They're not doing too badly. I need to make sure I've got the. Shrosworth is on. Down. Let's turn it on. We are harvesting for the first time in this game year. So I'll get the field opened up. And then we will. I uh, need to do two times round. Then we will get a worker started on it. So then we can. The grass bales all collected up. Not collected up, grass bales made. I'm not collecting grass. Yeah, I need to get them made and then get them silage wrapped. Which only I can do. So, yeah. We'll get around here. And then we will get on to where they are. Two rounds. Uh, we took a full load of this trailer to the grain mill, or flour mill, whatever we're calling it today. Um, and this is a fourth load that we put in, and we're needing to get this load actually done now. Oversteer that massively. Hopefully, he gets back before we um, get turned so we can take him on the move. What I'll do is, I'm not sure if I'll take the reload straight to the grain mill like that first one. Um, just because we're going to be trying to do the bailing at the same time. We might just tip these in our silo here. And then get them transported once we do our grass work. I'm considering a bigger trailer just because of the volume of the wheat. It is kind of like... A a lot. I know some flowers and that won't be as bad, but then I'm thinking corn probably will be. Okay, we're not quite on to jump in the combine and get this biop done. For some reason our trailer is moving. By magic. Weird. Anyway, let's get this one. No. Okay. okay, we are going to start the old field collection. Got the new Holland hooked up to our contraption. It um, repair the new Holland um, before 
we've done we've actually done the grass cutting. Um, cutting grass is quite hard. Yeah, it's because it's to give us the power boost because we're kind of losing power last time we done that. I'm not sure that we need to repair, but it'll be the baler and the, the windrow because the tractor is definitely fully repaired. That is why I always drive behind so I don't crash into Ooh. We're already struggling and we've repaired this. Just getting the first round done on this here because of the walls, it's a bit annoying. We wouldn't probably normally use this size and thing of equipment to do a field small. We're breaking the mold. We're doing what others don't dare to do. Probably because they're stupid ideas. We will endeavour to crack on. to probably repaint my tractor but I'm going to imagine it'll cost me a million pounds with the whole pricing that Giants put in for the repairs and repaints of your vehicles this year. Maybe they're just hoping someone would do a mod for it. So that's quickly come across because we are full with the combine so we're now full with the trailer as well. I'm just going to put this into our silo here. We can quickly get back to bailing. The flour mill doesn't go through that much, but we're in like a day, so we can afford to do a few here. So we're going to get quite a lot off this field if that's 60, 63,000 off so far. And we've barely Ended it really, so I'm gonna guess like 150 plus. Be a lot of flour. So that is our small field done, and just getting the location that our harvester is cool again. Let's park this here and jump into the case. So it is good that we're getting this much volume off the field because it's gonna allow us to get a lot of bread. Maybe a lot of cake as well, just depends how much other things we get. I don't think we're going to be lacking in the flour department anyway. So once we get this done, we'll get hooked up to the wrapper. Um, and just, yeah, plod on doing that while the field is being harvested. Just so we're getting a few things done at once. I'm cracking on. Like, I could just sit in the harvester and do it all, but then, yeah. We can do multi things. It saves you from getting bored of doing one thing. So that's another load dropping off. So that means we've now done like 96,000 wheat off this field so far. But 150 is probably going to get beat. And I do think we definitely need a bigger trailer. I think this tractor can handle something a little bit bigger. That is feeling done. And now we've got to do this thankless task of wrapping them all. My least favourite job ever. We'll get it done. We will get it done. Harvester is barely getting through the wheat. And once we get the baler hooked up, I will check in and see how it's getting on. So we've got this bit left to go, and then the wheat is all done. Uh, we are kind of chasing to get this done before the rain. Hits. The rain's supposed to be due at four o'clock. It's now one o'clock. So we do need to just get on and get it done. I think we should be okay, timing-wise. 
I think I might just get it done before uh, the rain hits. Be ideal. Back on the go. Then we can uh, go and get some wrapping done. We do also need to bail this field at some point, but that will lock the curve. Then the whole silage because you don't have to do the wrapping. Just drive around the field and make some bales. Pretty much just like making printing money. Masses of amounts. A decent bit. It's another load which will drop off now. We've got the first field of bale wraps with the cow field done. Just about to move on to the big field. So we're getting there slowly. Yeah, we we'll sh should get another load off here. It's still got a decent bit to go. So that is our harvesting done. I didn't actually have to jump in the harvester at all after doing it two times round. The worker took care of the rest of the field which has been great. So we have this load. Um, I might just top, top up this load and take it down to the Drop, or sorry, the grain mill. We're going to go to the shop after because I want to buy a new trailer. We've got a few things that we want to buy. We need a new trailer, bigger trailer. We need a corn and sunflower header, and then um, I also want something for fermenting the chaff, like a silo production thing. So yeah, we need to get that done. I am um, about two thirds of the way through doing the wrapping of the uh, big fields, silage bales, so I need to get that finished off. Now we will just park this off the field. And I will go and get the, oh no we did miss a bit, we did, we, we spoke too soon. I did think it was going all too well. Get this slither done. So yeah, I think I'm going to just go and get the other size bales wrapped, get that finished off. And then we can look at our purchasing. We do still have to get the bales off this field. Oof. We'll see if we can get that started this episode, if not in the next episode we will be doing a lot of field work in terms of when you get the straw off and mulched as well. This will almost be full once we get this little bit in. Yeah, we need to get the straw, get it mulched, get it limed and then we need to decide what's actually going into it. I don't think it needs ploughed it yet. But we'll check all that. Let's get this topped off. We're ready for us to go down. Get it turned off. And then we'll get into the new holland and get that field finished. for the rain to start. Once I get this one done, um, I'll get hooked up to the baler uh, and a windrow. So 
we can take that up to our freshly harvested wheat field. Because that's going to be the next task on that. Um, I won't start it just yet. I do want to get the case taken down to our production area to get that all tipped out and do some of our purchasing. We do have a few things to purchase, like it says. Bigger trailer, corn slash sunflower header, and a fermenting tower for chaff that's coming out of the grain uh, production. That's about it for now. We do need an oil thing and things, but I think we're just going to wait a little bit on them. I'm just trying to get the things that we need now purchased. Okay, so that's the new on here. I'm hoping that we don't get a random bale of grass. Out. If we do, we'll deal with it. And um, turn that off. All right, let's get the case down to the production site. So we did get over 150,000 wheat off that field. We got 93 in our silo, and then we have this load and another load that has gone into our green mill. Pretty good off that field. This is going to get us a lot of flour. So this is our first purchase. Brantner. It is a 55,000 litre capacity trailer. So we were at like 30, 31. And now we have 55,000 litres. This is going to make a massive difference. Especially when it comes to the corn, which is a lot of volume. Upgraded the tyres to nice wide Michelins. And I am very happy with it. I think it was about forty-five to 50,000 we paid for this. We did get like 30,000 back for our old trailer. It really cost us like 20 grand. Very nice purchase. And then we have our corn header. I looked at a few. There were some nice John Deere ones. It didn't really work with the case track. Case. Harvester. So we went with nice reliable hello hs 16 so this is nice and wide holds up which is good for us because we've got narrow lanes i think the operating speed is like six miles an hour which is what we got already but it's wide there were some options for narrower but in terms of like we yield it was just less how much you would take off so yep i think i might just get that delivered to our farm as opposed to bringing the Harvester all the way down here just to pick this up. And I'll quickly nip to the new production facility as well that we've just got. So this is our new oh god, I really did a really bad, I think a bad job of um terraforming that. Whoops. Um it'll work. Yeah, so this is our fermentation silo. So we need to get chaff from there to here. I was I did set it to distribute in, but it didn't seem to work. I don't know if it's because this had nothing in it, but we'll see if we can remedy that. So that's a load into the uh, fermenting silo. So that's going to make us more silage from what we get from the grain mill. Get this back to the farm, get loaded up with grain. I think we will leave the bale until the next episode, but what we'll do is we'll get all the grain brought down. So that'll be two loads, we'll get that down to our grain mill, and then that'll be us for the day. So we do have a decent bit of time before we have to start our next um, harvest, because it's not till October that we can do our sunflowers and our corn. So that gives us plenty of time to get the field work done. Got no rush to get the... Oh, this might be a little bit heavy for this tractor. Just ever so slightly. Um, sure it'll be fine. Oh no 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 no. Uh, back wheels do not appear to be touching the ground very much. So a quick look at the spec sheets. Um, 
think we just do need a heavier tractor. What we'll do is we'll do another load. But I'll modify this so that we have wheel weights on the back. And see if that makes a difference. If that doesn't make a difference, we will have to do some tractor shopping. <laughs> okay, we're a ten and a half ton tractor. The next case up is like twelve and a half. I think there are tractors that are a bit heavier that are I, I don't want to have anything on tracks really. I don't think it will work well with a farm. I do want a conventional tractor. So we'll see what ones that I, I do know the fence are quite heavy, the top end ones. So yeah, we we'll just need to see. Don't want rear twins. Just get wheel weight. Okay, let's try this. Okay, hopefully this works a bit. We won't know until we have a load in it. Okay, we've got 38,000 in there, so it's not super heavy. It might not be the best. That's still kind of doing what I was doing. And that's not fueled. And with wheel weights. I think we may have to. We'll look at another trailer to be honest. Let's get another tractor is quite extreme. And there's no guarantee that the other tractor will work. So we might have to look at another trailer. And again, I don't know, we can't test it until we get it full, which we'll have to do some... It's absolutely horrendous. Maybe it's something with a hitch point or something, I'm not too sure. Oh, well, whatever it is, we will not be using this in the next episode. But, God, it will end up in a tree at some point. We managed to do a lot this episode. We got our field harvested. We got our grass cut and another round of bales done. It seems to be never ending. Um, we got a new trailer. That doesn't seem to work. Um, but with that, I think that's going to be us for this episode. So I will continue on slowly to the production area. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And I will see you guys hopefully next week if I don't have a massive accident. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> goodbye.